Hi everyone, welcome back to the Scottish Cowboys Darts channel. As you can see from the screen, today we're going to be looking at a Data Dart dartboard, the Elite 2. Now this dartboard retails at £40, so nowadays that's actually coming in at quite a budget friendly dartboard. The main competitor out there at the moment for this dartboard I would say would be the Target Aspar, which is normally on offer around about £40, sometimes a little bit cheaper. So. Let's get it over the table, take it out of the box, have a good close up look at it, get it mounted onto the wall, have a few throws and see how it performs. So here we have a look at the Elite 2 Pro Dartboard from Data Dart. As you can see, a nice striking box telling you it's got a blade wire, high quality sizeo. A nice picture of the board with the flames. On the back we have got a picture of the board again. Telling you this is the Elite 2 dartboard has been developed using the finest grade African sizeo, made and tested to a professional standard ensuring consistency and match performance and quality. Care of your board. There are several things you can do to help increase the longevity of the board. Keep your dart point sharp and burr free. Twist your darts when removing from the board. Turn the board regularly, putting another block segment at the number 20 position. Children should be kept under supervision playing darts. So let's get this open and have a look inside. So I've took the board out of the box. As you can see, you've got data dart at the top. You've got Elite 2 at the bottom. A nice white number ring but with the actual ring painted black just to take the focus more on the numbers than the ring. On the surface of the board the wires are not sticking up too far. They're not flush but they're not sticking up too far. The bullseye is very nice. So is the 25. There is some cracks in the board but that is to be expected with the size all getting pressed in. So we'll take a closer look and see if we can find any flaws or imperfections. So here we go with a close up. As you can see the reds are very vibrant. The printing's very good. You've got little cracks but that's to be expected on a dartboard. You've got a little mark here but that's just a little bit raised up. As you can see it's a bit bubbled. We'll see how that wears. Now these retail at £40, so it's a very budget friendly dartboard. It's going to come up against the likes of the Target Aspa board. So there you go, it looks in very, very good condition. The only thing I can see is that one mark right here. Try and get you closer, you see it's raised up. got a little mark here but that's just well, that's just a bit of dust that's nothing so I'm actually quite impressed with how bright the board is how it looks so what we'll do is I'll go away get it fitted up onto the section you also get as I'm saying that you get the fixing kit with the studs to put on the back of the board you also get the instructions Telling you how to play the game of darts. And on the back, you get it in all different languages, so everything's covered. Two bits of silica gel. But what also it comes with is it comes wrapped in this cellophane. Now, the clear cellophane keeps that nice and fresh. I don't think I got that with my Aspar board, but I'm not sure. I'd need to look at a new one to find out. I can't remember. So let's get it up on the board and see how it performs. I've got the Data Dart Elite 2 on the wall, as you can see. It's a very bright, vibrant dartboard. You've got the white numbers with the black ring. So what I've done is I've got it on with the scolia just now. I'm going to make sure the scolia works with the number ring making sure everything's okay that way. I'll do a 501 leg on the scolia and I'll talk 
in between the throws about how it's performing. So let's go. Oh. 55. So, when I took the darts out of the board there, there was no size or pull. Forty-three. There's no visible holes in the board either, as you can see. Oh. Forty. Could be here a while. But the board's looking good. I must admit, it's, it's major competitors going to be the target Aspar board. And the thing that a lot of people don't like about the Aspar is that the holes are visible. 55. When you take your dart out of the board, the holes are very, very visible on this board. No, it looks really good. The better fact it's like that. But I'm only testing out the board. Once this leg's finished, I'm going to be using it for two months. And then we'll do. Oh no! We'll do a follow up video. 40. See how it's holding up. For 40 pounds, I'm very impressed so far. Ah, oh, 41. What a straight out. Oh, we're down. I'm going to end up with a very bad 35. treble. My treble five is going to be worn out before anything else. You require 160. Wow. 77. That was a good attempt at 45. You require 83. Ah, oh, come on. 73. Definitely enjoying the board. You require 10. It surprised me. I'm going to tell you that right now. Oh no! Ooh, no score. You require 10. Yay! Game shot. So, looking closely at the board, I've just had one leg, a couple of little holes here, but they don't catch your eye, they don't stick out. Looking all good. Treble 5 will probably get damaged before anything else, but. I'll be turning this board once a week, so when we come back, if we go once a week and we're doing 8 weeks, it should be week 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, we should be on this segment. So what I'll do is, I'll maybe go 10 weeks, and once I get back to the treble 20, we'll do an update. So, thank you very much for watching guys, please hit that subscribe button, and I'll catch you on the next review.